Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as you may know, I'm Bob, <laughs> Bob McDonald, part of the Moodle Education team, and we're going to talk about today the Moodle Education Certification Program, otherwise known as MEC. Uh, who's, who's heard of MEC so far? Great, great. I know Martin's been talking a little bit about it, and today we're going to go through a brief overview of what the program's about, why it was created, and what the user experience will be. So we, the Moodle education team was presented with a challenge to think differently on how we present Moodle training. Um, in the past, there's been, actually, there's fabulous training opportunities that have been conducted uh, across uh, many, many, by many people, by our, our certified partners, but we were, we were challenged to think about a little bit differently about how we would approach Moodle training and, and so we started with Moodle's mission to empower educators. And we were thinking of a training program that empowers not only the educator, the person delivering the instruction, but also transfers to the learner. So in putting together the MEC program, we were thinking very much about the voice of the, of the, of the student, of the participant, the recipient of this training, uh, and, and uh, to bring their voice into it, and also to align with some of the global sustainability goals to empower not just educators, but also those who uh, receive that excellent instruction. So we focused on building a teaching and learning program based on uh, using Moodle knowledge and skills. So it's focused on teaching and learning. So uh, we're looking at a program, the MEC program, that focuses on not necessarily every setting in a Moodle tool or uh, specific configurations, but we're looking at a way of how to use Moodle to achieve teaching and learning outcomes. That was the guiding focus of uh, of us putting together this curriculum. Because we know when, uh, when people use Moodle in a way that, or maybe using the wrong tools for certain uh, activities, uh, and wrong, mean, wrong doesn't mean like wrong, but suboptimal in, in the presentation, that means, that means the learner might not have an optimal, optimal learning experience. And so selecting uh, and knowing how to use the tools is really important as part of delivering instruction. And we also know that knowing the tool, knowing how to use a tool isn't always the, the, the only component. There's also the ability to know the skill in applying that tool to the learning context in which uh, that person is, is educating in, whether it's a, a K through 12, higher education, workplace. Uh, there's all kinds of contextual skills that are needed to apply that Moodle tool. So those are two components. Knowledge and skill are what we're looking at. And also, trying to make sure we're measuring the right, the right elements with this curriculum so that we're able to assess uh, and be helpful in providing formative feedback to those who are in the MEC program to help them achieve, uh, move along in their understanding and expertise with Moodle. So that's our, our, those are our organizing principles. And so let's get into the MEC program itself. Is everyone with me? Is that thumbs up? If I could see them. I'm sure they're all there. All right. So the MEC program, it, it, it builds upon the fantastic Moodle training resources that are, also, that are available. First and foremost, certainly from our Moodle partners, uh, Ethink and Munami, who have presented, uh, who are, 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 are um, uh, supporters and, and sponsors here, certainly have excellent training. Universities, K through 12 organizations have also put together remarkable resources, uh, as well as the, uh, the, the Moodle community itself has put together excellent training resources that focus on Moodle tools. So you can find some resources very easily on that. Course creation, how to set up a Moodle course, how to manage that, as well as uh, admin settings and configurations. So th that realm has been really well covered. Where the MEC comes in, the Moodle Educator Certification comes in, is the application of the, that knowledge and skills. So it's a little bit different than, it's not a how-to Moodle, but knowing how to Moodle is very important in, as part of the MEC program. And we do support uh, a little bit of that knowledge uh, uh, as well. 
The other important thing about the Moodle Education Certification Program is that it's based on the European Framework for Digital Competency, or DigiComp EDU. Um, so is anyone familiar with EFDC? I see no one is. <laughs> so essentially, the, the European Framework for Digital Competency was released uh, last November, and it's a framework of the uh, 22 skills, digital skills that educators uh, are, should have in order to be uh, both proficient in their skills as educators, but also to give the skills that are needed for their students to fully engage in a digital, uh, digital economy and digital world. So these are 22 standards that have been uh, created, and we at Moodle, the Moodle education team, and specifically uh, Solange Lalonde, uh, has been instrumental in, uh, I use the word Moodleizing, <laughs> the, the EFDC framework to put it in a Moodle context. Uh, so we use the, the framework for EFDC as a structure for the curriculum where uh, the uh, layer of Moodle put on top to to address these digital competencies using Moodle tools. So we created 22 modules in the MEC program, each focused on one big idea. And you'll see in this, in this chart there are six numbers. To, to receive an MEC certification, uh, we have uh, four design areas, design, guide, connect, and reflect. These are teaching approaches that you do all the time, right? You're always designing, you're always guiding your learners, you're always connecting learners and ideas and content, as well as helping them reflect on, on their educational journey and their, their teaching and learning practices. So we created these four areas and then created uh, modules that reinforce these teaching approaches. Uh, for the MEC program, there are 22 modules, but to receive the certification, there are six core modules that, that are part of the completion process. So there's 22 offerings, but six of them are the ones that are um, uh, the primary element to get the certification. So what's this look like for a participant? We designed the 22 modules in the MEC program to be consistent across every module. So learners will come into a framework uh, in, in multiple contexts and have a similar experience, no matter what modules they're uh, participating and, and, and enrolled in. So there's a module summary, which provides uh, uh, some of the key information, what's going to be assessed, how it's going to be assessed, that's usually question number one, and, and as well as welcoming, welcoming videos and, and context. Uh, then introductions to build uh, communal knowledge about that competency that's being evaluated. Two design challenges, so we're going to ask participants in a module to build uh, two examples that meet a competency standard. And, and later today at our one o'clock workshop that we'll be doing in this room, which is a great workshop room, <laughs> we'll figure that one out, uh, is to uh, We'll walk through the process of how participants go through the, the two design challenges. And then lastly, a conclusion section, which allows for that trans, transversal thinking about how to take what I learned in this MEC program and put it into my teaching context. So this isn't really a program designed to be a oh, checkbox, I'm done. It's one where we're asking the participants to think about how they can take their knowledge and apply it to their teaching context. So just really quickly what the, what the framework looks like in Moodle. So we have our introductory section where we have the, the, the module guide with core competencies and the, and the, the examples of what's going to be covered, uh, a, a welcoming video. Then the participant will have that introduction session where they can talk about the content standard that's being addressed in the module and, and discuss how that's being used in their university or their, their school or their educational context and how, they, how that standard is either being met or might not be being met. Then we have the two design challenges. And within the design challenges, we provide four examples. So the first thing we, we do in a design challenge is provide an example to the participants of how that design challenge could be done. Uh, people might not know how to do that, depending on their different skill levels, or some people might have great ideas of how that can be done. But our, our idea here in the MEC program is to inspire but not impose. So we provide an example of how one could do this with a certain Moodle tool, but we want the participants to design a challenge or design their learning activity that meets the competency standard however they see fit. So they can use different tools, different techniques. We're not imposing a certain framework on, on participants to do that. 
in the design challenges. And then last, the conclusion piece is that place for reflection of transversal skills, of how we, of how we apply it. And then we also have a, a survey which aligns to Moodle's educational goals. And the MEC program is, is hosted uh, by Moodle HQ, so we'll be able to understand the data of, is this program being effective for you? And across, across a global program, we'll get some really fabulous data to adjust and do that continuous improvement that, hey, this module is doing great at meeting the goals, this module isn't necessarily meeting the goals. Because that's one of the challenges with training sometimes, is that you do a fabulous session, but then you don't know what the, what the impact was, or you don't get that feedback necessarily. And so we'll have that ability to get that information uh, going forward. Yikes, I'm start going through time. So the other component is how do we, how do you pass this, right? Well, this isn't a pass, uh, sort of a pass-fail course. This is a mastery course. So it's about coaching, it's about moving along different levels, and it's about recognizing mastery, not necessarily evaluating mastery. So what we do with the MEC program is provide a framework, a support, a sketch, uh, a sketching, if you will, of how to achieve mastery in these certain digital competencies. So it's not just, hey, go be masterful. It's we'll, we provide the guidance and the structure and the feedback, and your facilitators will provide that feedback as well to, to participants. And so this is the workflow of how a participant would be evaluated. They enroll in an MEC module. They have two design challenges, which they, they would conduct. And then there's evaluation criteria. Remember that knowledge and skills element we put earlier? So we evaluate knowledge of the Moodle tool. Is it the right tool? Is it configured properly? And then the, the, also the skill. Does it meet the content standard? Does it achieve the goal? So those are the two measurement elements within the MEC program. And then we have different achievement levels based on rubrics specific to that module about emerging developing, uh, uh, competent, and mastery. So in order to get a, a badge and a, 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 that check mark for an MEC module, a, a achievement level of mastery or competent is, is needed. So that's, that's how we put it together. So in order to get certified, the process for certification, uh, who's familiar with the MCCC uh, certification? Couple of people, right. So we took some of the lessons learned and some of the workflows and processes from this. So in order to get certification, the, uh, a person will go through and take those six, those six uh, required MEC modules, get a, a, an evaluation, a recognition of competency, of competent or mastery, and then take their portfolio, which, which they'll have uh, as part of the MEC program, and submit it to Moodle HQ, we will review it, to make sure all the, all the modules are there, and also to ensure consistency uh, across a global program. So we'll have a review and look at the modules, and then when that's done, you receive the MEC certification. And as Martin talked about yesterday, we're, we're in the process of, of looking at various accreditation uh, models and approaches as well for this, for this program. So we're really excited that this is a program focused on teaching and learning, and we're really excited that um, the, our Moodle partner community uh, has been really uh, excellent in supporting and getting on board in terms of a certification process. Uh, have a great experience with eThink uh, going through uh, some of the initial training and getting feedback from these partners as well of, of their experiences. So this has been very much a conversation as we put the MEC curriculum together. And it's, it's available through uh, MEC partners who are also going through their own certification process uh, as well. And, and they've been, been fabulous in doing some tremendous work. Uh, Vanessa and Claire, I don't know if they're still here, uh, from eThink in particular, and, and Nick right there, and, and, and Kathy Robeson too, have been, been fabulous in, in going through this type of uh, uh, training as well. So, just in, in summary, oh, excellent, 51 seconds. Uh, the, the MEC program provides a, a way to, a practical application of Moodle, Moodle tools and Moodle knowledge, right? So people who have, have a, a masterful approach may come right in and just be able to 
go right through and, and get a mastery certification without much much challenge. But most of the most of the idea is that people will have uh, receive coaching and facilitation to move towards mastery, more successful teaching and education with Moodle, uh, in, in both in terms of their application and also in terms of their skills. And it's also a place for learners to build a portfolio of excellence, of exemplars, of the great work that they're doing from teaching and learning. And then lastly, it's a place to bring together coaching and community uh, within the MEC program to develop excellence within in teaching and learning. And again, to empower uh, educators, but equally important, empower the students which you all uh, impact on a daily basis. So thank you very much. And I think if there are any questions, I'd be happy to, to answer them. Yeah. <laughs> Could you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's as part of our, our accreditation process. We're looking at how we can assign CEUs. That's very much a focus of of we're putting in this program together. At the present, not right now, but that's in a, a our short-term roadmap to get that uh, established because we know how important that is for for universities and for professionals who are taking continuing education credits or activities. Hi. Absolutely. So the question is, would this be appropriate for those who are supporting, so academic technologists, those who are supporting the teaching and learning of, of staff? Absolutely. I think that would be a, a brilliant uh, use of, of the MEC program. Great. I, I can see the calculation. Lunch, one more question. Lunch, one more question. So let's, uh, let's I'll go to lunch. All right. Thank you so much, everyone.